Psychopathics is the worst game ever. And if you're wondering why it's called Psychopathics and not the plural of psychopath, which is psychopaths, I am too. I think the reason for that is because the developer doesn't really speak English and oh my god, this is in Game Guru. A freaking course it is. Why is everything in goddamn Game Guru these days? It's like even the Unity store is too hard for these goddamn developers. He couldn't even get the title on his menu centered properly in the screen. And they literally only put the font on there. The entire rest of the screen is the stock Game Guru menu. Even if you're doing it manually, you can drag some text more or less into the center. It takes a special kind of not caring to ignore something like that. All right, whatever. Let's go ahead and see what sort of gem this developer has told us about this game. Psychopathics is a horror game. Find the key and maybe a gun to life. Open exit door to win. Persons with heart malady must not play this horror game. Well, it's better be pretty freaking scary then. Dark evil games not responsible if anything happened to you or computer when play Psychopathics. Play at your own risk. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go virus scan my computer very quickly here. Okay, just the usual porn viruses, we're fine. So after we check out the controls and toggle our flashlight, we are ready to go. Where I am, my head hurts. I only remember, be knocked out. What is this place? It looked like a warehouse that is abandoned. I have not a gun, just a flashlight. I feel I am not alone here. Must escape quick alley, because I can die. Um, okay. So you fade into a little room that seems to be stationed on the surface of the goddamn sun, and after five minutes or so, your eyes adjust enough so that you can go into a completely dark corridor. Wait, I'm sorry, how did the narrator describe it? This is too somber. I use a flashlight. So yes, it is too somber and I must use that flashlight. Now, I feel like right now is a good time to point out that I don't care if someone doesn't know how to speak English very well or write in English. Like, that's totally fine. I mean, not everyone knows the same language. I'm not making fun of a guy just because they don't speak mine. But if you're gonna release a game in English, you need to have at least a basic grasp on the language. Because half the stuff written and said in this game doesn't make any goddamn sense. Up into and including the title. You also want to stay a little bit further away from your microphone. Looking, a key in the files. I'm so sorry to anyone that grossed out. Like, there are people who do speak English that will help you translate your game. Hell, I've personally offered and edited a couple store descriptions for Steam games in the past. And I did it for free because it only took me like two minutes. I'm not going to do it with this game because it's freaking trash, but for anyone who's actually trying to make a real video game, I'm sure there's plenty of people that don't mind. And yeah, this game is trash. You want some proof? <laughs> So yeah, all the uh, psychopathics in this game are slightly edited Game Guru NPCs. Except for this one. I'm pretty sure he wasn't edited at all. And they have no attack animation, so when they're attacking you, they hold an invisible gun till you die. Nothing in the game resets, by the way, so when you die, they just walk up to your spawn point and kill you instantly. That is until they get stuck on the environment or inside a door. Sometimes they'll even just lose interest with you and walk away. Them some scary psychopathics, all right. So what you do in psychopathics you run around away from the psychopathics every now and then and i guess you find some notes that are supposed to describe what they are and what they did but again the english is so broken i'm still not entirely sure about some of it so you meet like four or five different psychopathics and they all look like they have play-doh stuck to them except for this one that's literally from the asylum demo then eventually you find a gun and you shoot them and they die and you find keys to unlock doors as you go, then you find one key to get you to the exit door, and the game ends. I was film all along. Psychopathics is a TV show for the dark internet. Persons give money to see killers and kills. And now I have kill and they see me. I go insane. I am now one psychopathics. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha. Uh, this game was 18 minutes long. Do not buy Psychopathics. I think that goes without saying. It's one of the worst and laziest games I've played all year. 
It's in the upper echelon of Game Guru games, though, because at least they made their own level, I think. Maybe they even spliced up two tutorials together, but that's at least still more effort than Bunch of Dudes puts in. That being said, if you're an aspiring game developer and you're debuting using Game Guru and not just Game Guru, all the sample assets and barely editing anything, you probably need to go and actually figure out how to make video games before you try to put it on Steam. And put your goddamn title in the center of the goddamn screen! I'm